Hey everyone. I got a little thing for you today, but I'm really, really proud of it actually. It's this. What is this? It looks very small, but clearly it holds a lock, right? It holds a kick cylinder. We've got a lot of lock stands out there in the world for practice, for classroom use, you name it. I've got a bunch of crazy 3D printed ones up here from you know, Syntax and other people. So why does the world need another one? Well, I was running a workshop recently. I I'm incredibly proud of the students who were there. It was an amazing experience. I'm gonna tell you all about it in an upcoming video. But one of the factors was I needed to have a bunch of locks in a lot of people's hands, novices mostly, and I didn't want A, to bring big bulky vices and jarb stands and other things like stuff we would have in our classrooms. There was a lot of weight, a lot of cost. You might say, wait a minute though, We've solved this problem as a community. George at Lockpickers Mall. There's the universal lock stand. Deviant, you use it in class and in tool sells it. Like it's all, it all shows up everywhere. That's true. It's a nice product, good price point, pretty lightweight, but there's a lot of fiddly bidding with like clampy bits and screws and there's different holes and which way does the lock go? As you will see in a future video when I talk about what I was doing in Texas, this was not a circumstance where I had time to explain how to use a lock stand that was ambiguous. So I knocked a sketch together and I reached out to one of my 3D printing and design people, this is Mike D. And I was like, hey man, I, I got a weird project coming up and can you make me something like this? And we revised it a little bit. And he's like, oh, I see what you're doing here. I see what's going on. Yeah, you want super slim, simple, cheap. Uh, you okay, if we change the angle a little bit, we'd make this mark here. And I said, you can put screw holes in it because you know if you screw it to a desk, that'll work. But this is gonna be pretty impermanent. Uh, we could make a little recess on the bottom for a neodymium magnet. If you have a steel table, clamp right down on the table, works just fine. But for most environments, most school and temporary environments, these are gonna be going just like sitting on little workbenches or tables. Can we make these work with just binder clips? And sure enough, I mean, he was like, oh yeah, totally. I see what you're doing here. He added extra little angles and grip steps. Great, great work on Mike's part. And this was the result. We have, as you can see, like it'll, it'll clear just fine. He made all these revisions to make sure the angle was right and that turning tools would spin all the way around. So this is it. We are calling this just the Mike D stand uh, in honor of Mike D mostly, who did the real legwork of not just designing it, but printing these for me. And he knocked them all out in time for me to get them into this classroom. I love it. Is this a necessary product out there in the world? Probably not, we were, we were getting by. But if you're running a lockpick village in an environment where you know, you're doing it on the cheap, right? It could be a school workshop, a family day. You need something small, easily packable, printable yourself, because you know me, all my designs, whenever possible, they wind up on my GitHub. This is no exception. You wanna use it non-commercially, I don't care. Uh, we might start throwing these on Red Team Tools, I don't know, but we might start throwing these in our classrooms. You should look for them, by the way, if you come to Locktoberfest. That's uh, out in Chicago, the Chicago Tool Chapter, Lynn and everyone. They put that on. So I think we're gonna get some of these in their hands if you wanna try them. But let's say you don't live in Chicago. Let's say you don't have a 3D printer. Let's say you don't wanna spend any money, but you would love to see if these might work for you. That's the giveaway this week. So you know the, the deal, the URL, right? You sign up, you can get a free giveaway. We've, we've been giving away like a laptop and a tablet and all kind of crazy shit. Uh, not just one of these this week though, because what good is one? I said these are for classes and workshops. Boom, there you go. Yeah, sign up, give me your address. If you win, I'll let you know. If you aren't running a class or something, give them, give them to friends. Run, why, why aren't you running a lock picking class? Literally sit around in a bar or with family at dinner, get some binder clips, get some little kick cylinders, and yeah, teach people how to pick locks in a small, simple, compact package that I hope is useful to you. I can tell you at the class we ran, it was crazy useful to us. I wouldn't have been able to do the class without it. So I'm looking forward to telling you the story of everything I was doing with some really cool kids down there. I'm looking forward to hearing from you about whether you like this. And most of all, I'm looking forward to making sure that you all stay safe out there.